is cross jealous of Emmanuel and basically rooting for the relationship between the girls and Emmanuel to fail. And this Alex on usual G's there. Well, Alex has finally responded. Don't worry, if you don't know anything about all of these things I just said, you're going to get the full gist here. So just stay tuned and watch this video to the end. Alright, you're yeah, welcome back to my channel. My name is Everyday with Idara Eyang. <laughs> my name is Idara Eyang. And my channel is Everyday with Idara Eyang. Um, thank you for joining me. Um, if you've not yet subscribed, please click on that subscribe button, turn on the notification for more videos from me. And let's get into the gist. Okay. Like I said, we're talking about Emmanuel Coros, Cross, White Money, and Alex Unusual. We'll be starting with Alex Unusual first. I don't know if you guys know the gist that's been going online. Okay. Um, this is basically from Gist Lover. <laughs> Not Gist Lover exposes a lot of people. I don't know. Anyways, this is basically from Gist Lover. Um, the gist there on Gist Lover's page is very long. I'll, I'm not going to read it out, but I'm just going to post it here. Okay, and but I'm not going to read them out. If you want to read it by yourself, you can pause the video and read it. Okay, but I am going to just summarize it. All right, you can pause the video, read by yourself if you want to, but I can't read it's plenty, guys. Like two slides, all right. There are two slides this is one, and this is two. Okay, so if you want to read it by yourself, go ahead and read it by yourself. All right, but I'm just going to summarize what Jislova said. Jislova said that Madeline Boss, right? You know Madeline Boss, that popular um, fashionista. She makes a lot of people's clothes and all that. Basically, what she does is she sleeps with other people's husbands. <laughs> I'm sorry. The way it just came out of my mouth. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is this. She snatches people's husbands on a normal day. According allegedly, hey Jesus, allegedly, she allegedly snatches people's husbands that are rich, not not poor husbands, or rich husbands, okay, of her friends and neighbors, and basically she's in that business allegedly from Jis Lover. Now, Jis Lover, sorry, meddling boss. If you can remember doing Alex unusual, um. Big Brother Ninja stage, like you no know, Alex, we had C C C and all of that, okay, Toby and the rest. If you can remember, Alex unusual and uh, wasn't a meddling boss, we're always together. Like she was like a man, she was not a manager, but she was like a manager, like their best friends. Apparently, my meddling boss now recruited Alex Unusual because you no know, Alex Unusual is the younger one, and you know big up big brother ninja is. When you enter into Big Brother Ninja, you become a star overnight. So she was also popular. I know all these rich men that their body know they stay in one place. They don't just want to um ca have casual. I I'm trying to. They don't. They don't just want to copulate with just about any out girl, any any other any roadside girl. Mm. They want to copulate with a popular fine. Girl, so popular most of the time is like a Nollywood actress because you're popular, you're famous. You might not be rich, but you're famous. You're always on national TV, people are always seeing you, and then you're not fine, you have a nice shape, and all that. Okay, so something like Nollywood actresses, what is rich men? They want a popular, exotic, like hey, so they want an exotic babe. You understand? So, I like to use at that time at least was an exotic bait because she was popular. It's big for that Nigeria now. The fans will make it popular. She was popular. So mainly now recruited Alex Unusual. Allegedly, according to Gis Lover, or please, recruited her. And then brought in AY comment. You know AY now. Remember, AY was always with Alex. He employed her to host his um, show, his movie premiere. He employed her to do so many things. Like, they were, they were like five and six. Okay? So, it she, according to Medlin Post, recruited Alex Unusual to, um, you know, be with a, a white comedian, allegedly. Be with, you know, copulate. Allegedly. Now, they were doing the copulation a lot of times, and then it allegedly resulted to a pregnancy. And then, um, allegedly, she then aborted. Now, it is very important for me to say this. Gis Lover never mentioned the name 
Alex Unusual. Just Love I never mentioned the name AY Comedian. Just Love I never mentioned. Oh, she only mentioned Medlin Boss. Like that name, Medlin Boss is right there. Okay. She only used the um, beginning of the name. That's AA. And the way she put it, she was like, um, Medlin Boss recruited a PB Ninja um, fa star with a name starting with A. And then the A, the, 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 the PB Ninja um, star that a name starts with A, A was all, is always around a popular comedian. And the popular comedian's name starts with A. It was very easy for people to decipher all of this, allegedly. So it's very important that I state that she never mentioned that their names. They should only use the first name, the first letter of their names, okay? But if you go on the streets of Twitter, go on the streets of Instagram, everybody came up with all of this. Like, oh, the baby ninja star that starts with that her name starts with A is Alex Unusual. And then the baby ninja, the, the comedian that his name starts with A is AY Comedian. AY Comedian. So that's the summary of everything that happened. Like I said, if you want to read it for yourself, you can just pause the video and read it on your screen. Go back to where I posted the, the, the picture and then read it on your screen. Now, that's the summary. Now, it has been going on for like the past three days, you know, and nobody has said anything. Alex Unusual didn't say anything. A.Y. Comedian didn't say anything. Even his wife didn't say anything. And Alex Unusual is so upset about this. She decided to come online to respond. She has finally responded and she wrote this very long, emotional like, I have that one. I'm going to read it out for you, okay? So, let me, let me start with this. She first forward. She said, hello, everyone. How are you doing? I'm not one to defend or explain myself, but on a second thought, considering future plans that I have and people that look up to me, I'll do this once and hopefully never again. I take a stand against bullying and I won't be bullied into silence. She then wrote, I don't think my name has been mentioned on the blog since this um <laughs> but I've gotten horrible messages and threats. Kindly confirm who you are talking about that our name starts with A, as this unclear news is denting my image. Then she goes on to say this. She said, Now, if this eventually turns out to be Alex unusual, let me say this. I've conducted myself responsibly almost all my life and I'm proud to say that I have a clear conscience with myself and my maker. You may choose to deny this, but believe it or not, I'm at peace with myself and God. Good girl may not pay immediately, but it eventually does. For the past few days, I've watched blogs make efforts to tarnish my image through reputation, one that I've built on sincerity as I know a lot of young people look up to me. It's also interesting to see some people jubilating because they can finally see something bad to tag to my name as it's been so difficult to do so, but I dare say no. Then she went on to say, aside responsible business, I've never had anything to do with a married man. And I don't advise anyone to. I also haven't had anything to do with any woman. That being stated, I challenge blogs to bring out the proof that supports their allegations. I'm not requesting one of the fabricated charts or voice notes that you people usually put together to back up claims and deceive people as I'll need to know whoever is behind it. Okay, she then went on to say this. If you didn't put this together by yourself, I will pay for the fight of whoever and whatever it, it is that concocted such news. Come and say it to my face. I dare you. She wrote her name. Sorry if I'm going to murder her name. I'm sorry to say it. She wrote Amuche Chuku Asogwa. Here's no allegation as my slate is ultra clean. She then said, on the streets of social media, it's tagged shalaye and guilt whenever you choose to speak your truth, which is why most people keep quiet. But not me this time. I want to tell people to speak up when being bullied and cyberbullying or any form of bullying won't be accepted by me. You'll, you've been able to gain the trust of your followers because few of your news turned out to have an autumn of truth. Then you feel it's okay to put out numerous lies and bullying your victims to silence because your people will still believe you. I'm typing this with so much heart as I've done nothing but struggle to live a clean life, deciding to take the long route, no matter what. But the blog owners that happily spread these lies about me for views and popularity, if these allegations are true, may I not... Hey, 
she wrote this one that she wrote eh? I, I rebuke it in jesus name she actually wrote this may i not leave to see next week i may god make it painful for me but if you are lying this one too i rebuke it in jesus name i'm just reading the news oh god it's not from my mouth then <laughs> she wrote this she said if god she now wrote this she said and i may god make it painful for me but if you are lying i'll leave your children and generations out of this may painful ugh, find you you can basically see the word on the screen may you no hardship and no peace may you slowly without clue and alone if you haven't had children may you uh in fact the rest of the the rest of the, should I say, prayers that she heaped on just love or whoever concocted the lies according to her, you can read it basically on your screen. I don't want to pronounce bad things on people, okay? Now, she went on to say, when I was down with ulcer and hospitalized, I came online after recovery and so much weight loss to create awareness on this said illness, but your blocks choose to bring something as serious as that into your mess i won't take off my comment sections and i won't run any from anyone i fear nothing i am here there are still people out there that work hard to attain height do not let these blogs push you into believing any everyone lives a bad life especially as they do as they do to women in the industry you can't unnerve me i haven't even started i have a long impactful and successful way to go in life and you can't halt or deter my progress you can't associate me with your dirty cooked up news i'm standing up for myself and every other person that you've ever bullied into silence and i'm giving you two days two days to bring all your proof of or forever hold your peace as i won't indulge you again after this once again i have never slept with a married man or any woman i'm a hard worker and i pay my bills responsibly thank you signed alex unusual as in <laughs> oh my god oh my god um we don't know what is actually happening to be honest that's my own we don't know who is telling i've always believed this anyways um we don't know if it is true, we don't know if G Slava is true. I also don't know if Alex on usually is true, but I don't usually just come online and just believe anything people say. People always say that there's always an atom of truth. We don't know the atom. For me, that atom of truth is the fact that they are always together. We always saw them. Um, it's very easy to pair both of them now. I mean, I did not know that Alex on usual was always with AY. It was like a normal thing. Okay, that might just be the atom of truth, and there might just be much more than that. Do you understand? So we don't know which one is the truth and which one is not the truth so anyways i just hope that every <laughs> imagine if it's not true how will alex anyways comment below and let me know what you think about this gist and um comment below let me know do you think it's true do you think it's not true it's a lot guys but anyways let's move on to the next gist about emmanuel licorice i think i asked the question at the beginning of this sh video i asked you that do you think that cross is jealous of um emmanuel and against your relationship i am asking this question because of some comments that i saw on my community tab and i'm just going to bring out the screenshot now and i'll show you okay <laughs> i was like I, I, what is going on here all right so somebody came on my community tab right on liquor rose's birthday party that was the 9th of april this person wrote it this this person said um i asked yeah it's because this was the response to the question that i asked i asked them that is um emmanuel going to be in the choruses by the party then someone now and was like is it the mc <laughs> is it the mc or uh, the keys to the venues are they with him please let me chorus enjoy herself and and do not she did not enjoy herself last week with so many friends around her she does not need him if cross is there, the vibe will be massive. Okay. Then somebody that came to attack like you are delusional. Don't you know that the so-called friend cross is the one is one of those that are rooting for Emmanuel and Licoros to fail? You fans can't read the handwriting on the wall. The only genuine friend that Licoros and Emmanuel have is white money right now, right from the house. So don't get it twisted. Emmanuel would do well without Licoros. I like Licoros too, but the drugs and insults on Emmanuel because of her is just too much. And I was like, ah, where did this person come up with this? Okay, we all know that Licoros and Emmanuel 
usually um, do a lot of um, TikTok videos, Instagram videos, where cross flirts a lot with local rules. You understand? And people are getting upset about this. Like, why would cross be flirting with local rules? Why would local rules allow cross to flirt with her when she knows that she belongs to Emmanuel? What is all this? That is basically <laughs> people's, you know. And I, I don't know. I think Ligoro sees it like an armless threat and um, armless flirting with um cross, but people are not taking it like like mm -mm. Liquor Rose, even though you think it's amless, you should know that Cross is not supposed Cross doesn't want you to be with Emmanuel. Cross wants you for himself. So what is all this? It's very obvious. Why aren't you seeing this? Do you understand? That's what people are seeing. That's what people are viewing it. And I'm like, okay. So comment below let me know. Um if you ask my opinion though, I would say cross plays too much, cross plays with every girl. From the house, you should have seen it. Cross flex anybody, anybody is good. And if the girl falls for him and they have something, you know, romantic, it, it will not stop him from flirting with the next girl. It's if the girl is taking it serious, then that's when problem will, will be there. I said that because even though Cross might be intentionally flirting with Ligoros because he wants to have something recorded, romantic with her he will not want her to leave Emmanuel if the, if she's with Emmanuel he will not want her to leave Emmanuel and come and pet with him I don't think so Cross is a free bird he wants to belong to everybody and belong to none like he won't like to be tied maybe until when he's ready for marriage I don't know but I don't think he's ready right now so he wouldn't want so even if he's flirting intentionally with the girls he wouldn't want it to go as far as um Emmanuel I'm jealous of Emmanuel I'm um, I don't want Emmanuel in Luke Rose. Like, hmm. He's going to be like, of ah, course, I mean, Luke Rose, let's have our small thing in the corner. We do our stuff. And then after that, please go back to your boyfriend, Emmanuel. Something like that. That's where I view it anyways. Comment below and let me know. Do you think the same with me or do you think... And then Luke Rose, I don't think she takes cross seriously. Ooh, why would you take cross flirting seriously? Like, especially when you've seen him in action. Maybe you do not know him. You, will take, you might take him seriously. But you've seen him. You live in the same house with him for like... I mean, there's 72 days, and you're now taking his flirting seriously? That's crazy. I don't think Ligoro takes his, take his um, seriously. Anyway, comment below and let me know. What do you think about this? Do you think that um, it's flirting intentionally? What do you basically think? Comment below and let me know what you think. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment. Don't forget to also click on that subscribe button. Turn on the notification for more videos from me. Because I'll be dropping more videos back to back. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.